Hey, babe. Yeah? I want my steaks done Texas style tonight. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go, baby. Texas style. <laughs> hey, baby. You enjoying your new pool? I am loving my new pool. All right. That is a nice looking pool. Look at that. Who made that for you? My sweetie pie. It was Got my birthday stairs. present. It was your birthday present? It was my birthday present. Wow. So anyway, yeah, go check out our channel, Three Days Away. Uh, it's a four-part series. might be five-part by the time you see this video of how we prepared the uh, landscaping, uh, what we did, and uh, how it turned out, guys. So we want to have a nice dinner poolside here. So there's no better way to do a quick, beautiful steak dinner with some cap steak, guys. Uh, you've seen us do cap steak before. If you've been following us, you know how good these cap steaks are. You know all about these. You know where they come from. I'm not going to get into that. We're just going to cook, cook up some steaks on the Weber and show you what they look like. So, guys, this is going to be a really easy cook. It really is uh, not difficult to cook cap steak. Um, it's hard to mess them up, too, unless you overcook them. Um, I haven't touched this Weber since we did our smash burgers last week um, i'm going to be using these grill grates upside down of course i'm going to clean them up um, but i'm going to use the bottom half because it gives you a nice little flat surface for doing steaks on with just enough holes to let uh, the little bit of juice to escape not much and uh, plenty of heat transfer so i'm gonna get this cleaned up and then i'll show you how i season the steaks all right guys so there was a lot of ash in here you know what's really good uh, to use to brush that ash out is one of these uh, masonry brushes here. It's got a plastic uh, body and uh, nice stiff bristles, almost like a scrub brush, but not quite. Uh, won't mar off that surface of the Weber. And uh, it lasts forever, guys. I've been using this thing for a couple years now. Um, see, they're perfect. And of course, if you're interested, uh, to get your own, I'm going to leave a link in the description and uh, go check it out. Masonry brush. All right, guys. Uh, look at this marbling. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and break it down for you. Cap steaks are the spinalis. You okay, Patch? All right. Don't, don't swallow. So these are several spinalises from a ribeye steak, guys. A prime ribeye steak. We got these at Costco. They're already tied up with some butcher's twine for us. Because these are basically kind of wound up, tied together, because there's, like I said, several different pieces of meat here tied up to make a steak. Um, if you like that fatty ribeye steak, the, the spinalis, which is the best part of the steak, in my opinion, get yourself a cap steak if you ever see it. These are prime from Costco. And all we're going to do is a little avocado oil, salt and pepper, guys. We're letting these kind of come up to room temperature. That's all you need on these guys and a super hot grill, which is what we're doing out there. Even Patch is uh, waiting for it. All right, guys, all we gotta do is just, uh, I'm gonna use my left hand here to wipe it down with just a little bit of that avocado oil. Not much, this thing's got such good marbling, almost, almost, it's almost a shame to put it on there. So I'm gonna do it with the salt first, and it doesn't need much, eh, not like that. I'm gonna do a little bit of on there, and then I'm just gonna roll around in there. Flip it over, a little bit more salt on that side. Pretty easy, guys. There's nothing special about the way you season these things. And then I'm going to top it off with just a little bit of coarse ground black pepper. Actually, I don't know how coarse it is, but it's, uh, it'll do the trick. A little bit on the back side. Actually, I don't, I don't know if that's the back side or not, but uh, it's called the back side. That's it, guys. Pretty simple. All right, guys. Um, starting to get a little chalky toward the top. Not completely, but uh, I'm, I'm not going to cook right away. But what I'm going to do is get the coals started. I'm going to use these baskets here. Just going to dump them in there. Oof. No particular way. Then I'm gonna put these grill grates right over that top, get these things super hot, and wipe them down a little bit. 
and then uh, put them stakes on. All right, guys, you can see them coals through the grate looking pretty good. So these have come up a little bit more than fridge temperature. Uh, I'm hoping they're uh, closer to room temperature than they were. But uh, you know what? I'm going to put the cap stakes on the edge, which is a couple hundred degrees cooler, just to kind of start cooking them through. And I'm going to finish them off up the middle, get that nice sear. So here we go, there's the first one. So I want you to listen to this, listen to this. That's what you want to hear, guys. Get the next one. Oh, look at that. Look at all that marbling, guys. Yep. Nice shot here. Yeah. All right, guys. Just uh, flipped them over on the edge there. Got a nice little crispiness going on right there. Um, I'm not going to use butter and rosemary um this time um these are just so juicy i think it'll do just fine so i'm just gonna go all natural well other than that avocado oil and uh, salt and pepper but anyway other than that it's pretty natural oh and the string that's kind of natural but on the fact that you know from like five different steaks so other than that it's pretty natural yeah i lied hey they use this parquet in competitions I'm going to do a little squirt on top of each one of these. Couldn't hurt, right? Okay, that's all I need. Yeah, what the heck. You know, just use what God gave you, right? Okay. I'm definitely not using rosemary. There we go. Mmm. Tastes good. Alright guys, so let's see if it's ready. Now, on the edge of this one, it's like barely 100. Go to the middle, green 110. This little one here in the middle is like saying it's done. So I'm pulling that one off. Because I know Sassy likes that one. There we go guys. Okay, I'm just going to go with the money shot, guys. Right down the middle. Ooh. Ooh. A little rare, a little rare. And you see how it kind of falls apart? And I got that string there that I'm going to pull off. It's not hard to get rid of that string. But a little rare, guys. I, I guess I, I didn't... My thermometer fooled me. I don't know what I was thinking here, but uh, but that's okay. Some people like that. But uh, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get put it on there for a little bit while and then eat, and it'll be just fine. All right, guys. Well, that's proof right there. Sometimes the best steaks don't always come out the way you want them to. But hey, back on the grill for a few moments, it'll be just fine. So anyway, guys, hope you liked the video. Comment down below what you thought about this and how you would cook them differently. And we'll see you next time.